Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how to use S3 versioning so that you can roll back to changes when something goes wrong. Here I have my S3 dashboard open where there is a static website configured. There is an index.html, error.html and if I go to my properties you can see here the static website is configured up and running whereas my versioning is not enabled. And if I open my static website, this is how the pages looks like the index.html and it says the version number. But this is a version number that I have written there not tracked by Amazon. If I want to have my versioning enabled and tracked by Amazon, all I have to do is go here, go to versioning in my bucket and click on enable versioning. So from this moment onwards, all my bucket objects will have a version attached to them. There is a hash map and you will not be able to view the hash map but you will know that amazon is tracking those objects so if i go ahead and open that object you can see here this is the latest version and uh, if i click on this link the latest version will open which is saying as version 2. say for example i go ahead and change this object and upload it so i'm just going to change this object and i'm going to upload the new index.html into my bucket now let me go to my bucket and upload it and I'm just going to add index.html and make sure that it has public permissions so that we can have access to it when you're accessing through the link. Click on next and upload. So this file indirectly overrides an existing file and it uploads it. So if I go ahead and go to my static website and refresh it, I will see my version number has changed it as two. And even if I access the URL for the individual object, it will change it as two here. We should be able to see it anytime. Yeah, there we go. So for some reason you find that this version is not correct and there is something wrong with this website and you have want to roll back. All you have to do is go to your dashboard and go to the object where the error is and you can go choose this option and delete the latest version that says you just all you have to do is just click on delete and automatically the index.html pointer will be moved to the older version and you will be able to access it. So let me go to my static website and go ahead and refresh it and you will see the version number change to version one. So that is how simple it is in Amazon S3 to enable versioning and control your objects and roll back changes whenever something goes wrong. Thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe to my channel and share it to other people who are might be interested.